is my latest book. My primary discipline has been Islamic history. Uh, I did my MA in Islamic history in 1968 from the University of Karachi. But for my PhD, I had to go to, because of certain circumstances, I had to do my PhD in Pakistan. Study. The subject I've taught most is Islamic history because the first discipline prepares you for any other discipline you take. Islamic history that we teach here in our universities and colleges and the Islamic history which is taught in Western Academia in the United States, in Canada and in England, Europe, Western Europe are quite different. When I gave a talk on the religious history of Islam, something I brought out in 2017, uh, that was my purpose. I have written the blood of Hussain, I have written a religious history of Islam. This I kept on thinking there was a link that I had to establish. So I turned to this topic, Ali, in historical discourse. To be honest, the Islamic history and culture, Dhaka University, in my MA in Islamic history, University of Karachi, I had a number of uh, teachers who were hostile to Ali. Well, that made me study more and more. So, by the time I had finished uh, writing uh, religious history of Islam and updating the blood of Hussain, I had all the books necessary, all the dissertations necessary to write on us. What has happened is in the last 400 years, European scholars have been writing on, editing, translating, Muslim sources, Tabari, Abu Mekhnaf, Balaz Duri, all of them. Now, I thought it was a time for a Muslim scholar to survey what they had written. So, I provide two frameworks, Ali, the Imam, as seen in the first framework, that is, in the depth of the Prophet. Then, Ali, the Khalifa, as seen in the frame of the assassination of the third Khalifa. You get different uh, views of the same person. And uh, I had reading, been reading these, I had them for a long time. Now, I started with book uh, Ali and Mavia in early historical tradition, in early Arab tradition. Ali and Mavia in early Arab tradition by Albert, Albert Erling Ladewig Peterson, E. L. Peterson. Published from Munzgar, Denmark in 1964. The time I was doing my Honours. Then there were other books like uh, they have not been published mostly, but uh, there are unpublished dissertations like that of Adrian J. Deficus, uh, Aaron A. Hagler. Uh, then published Balfred Madirong's The Succession to Muhammad. So I put all these under scrutiny and I had two Muslim scholars who belong to the critical canon included. One was my teacher, Dr. Sayyid Said Muhammad Jafri, the author of The Origin and Early Development of Early Shia. It was published in 1979. And then in 2020, Nabil Hassan of the Miami University published his dissertation opposing the Imam from the Cambridge University Press, which uh, surveys Nasibi literature in Muslim historiography. So I hope it's a slim volume, but I hope it will be a productive volume. And as you can understand, it has been um, uh, basically aimed at Western academia. It can't be ignored. This is the fruit of my labors.